Hi, we are engineering brothers and once again we have come out with our another problem. We have just completed our AP analogy for our free problem and I have uh, just shown you this is our circuit diagram over here. But uh, I am going to initiate another class over here which is our FI analogy for over here. But up to our differential equation for our rotational system, the equation seems to be the same. That is why I no longer do require to repeat the same procedure over here. I should start with our differential equation which is being reflected here. This is our equation 1 and this one is our equation 2. Okay. So I should start with the solution over here. In our previous part, we have used this FV analogy chart over here. But in the next part, I am going to use this FI chart uh, to configure our solution over here. So let us uh, do the same over here. I want to repeat the same procedure over here. We have already completed our four problems for our FV FI analogy. And in our just concluded classes, I have just completed the FV analogy uh, for our fifth problem. And I have got these two differential equation are quite evidently important for our rotational system and more in a more precise way, our mechanical rotational system. So I want to repeat the procedure over here and because of the lack of lack of number of uh, problems uh, in our um, in our important books uh, of our control systems we have uh, completely got a different strategy to from the new set of problems over here first we have got our translational system and we have converted that translational system into rotational system and how do i do that or how do i be able to complete uh, that one that is the if you want to follow that please do follow our previous videos on those videos we have shown you how to convert our translational system into rotational system but uh, if you do follow our videos you will do get my point over here and ultimately uh, in our previous class we have completed our fv analogy now we have got that for our rotational system for our fifth problem we do have these two equations are very very important for our analogy now for our fi, FI analogy for our rotational system problem 5 we should start with our this crucial differential equation that we have got from our just by applying our d Almert principle on our each and every node and after that we have got these two equations are very very vital if I do apply the Dialama principle on our each and every node and after that we have got these two equations are very very important. Now as for our chart we should utilize these these parameters to convert our equivalent mechanical parameters in terms of our electrical parameters. So let us do that. So I have got the torque element tau t. Okay so at the place of our tau I should write it as our current i as for our fi analogy so this is our it minus j2 means our capacitor c so c2 d2 dt2 and theta2 means our phi2 so this is our phi2 minus the key k means 1 by l so we do have minus 1 by l2 inside our bracket i do have theta 2 minus theta 1 means our at the place of our theta I should write it as our phi 2 minus phi 1 minus f 2 means our we do have f means our 1 by r so uh, I am going to write it over here under this line minus f 2 means our 1 by r 2 so I do have 1 by r 2 d dt of inside our bracket i do have theta 2 minus theta 1 theta 2 minus theta 1 means our phi 2 minus phi 1 which is ultimately is equal to 0 so this is our equation 1 if i do successfully alter or just looking at these parameters we have just interchange all those factors and ultimately we have 
inverted or converted our mechanical terms or uh, in a more precise mechanical rotational terms in terms of our electrical terms over here and first I have got this is our first equation now moving on towards our next equation I do have the G1 at the place of G1 I should write it as C1 so I do have C1 D2 DT2 and at the place of our theta 1 I should write it as our phi 1 so this is our phi 1 plus k1 k1 means our i do have 1 by l1 so 1 by l1 theta 1 means our phi 1 plus f1 means 1 by r1 1 by r1 d dt of theta 1 means our phi 1 plus k2 means k2 means i do have 1 by l so 1 by l2 inside our bracket i do have theta 1 minus theta 2 means our phi 1 minus phi 2 and for the last term I do have plus f2 f2 means 1 by r so 1 by r2 uh, d dt of inside our bracket I do have theta 1 minus theta 2 theta 1 minus theta 2 means our phi 1 minus phi 2 which is equal to 0 so this seems to be our equation 2 so quite naturally just by using our fi chart we have interchanged our mechanical rotational terms in terms of electrical terms and after looking at these two equation uh, these two equations are intact just by simply following our chart of our fy analogy in our next part we are going to reconfigure or reanalyze our equation why because these two equations are not look like our electrical equation why according to our definition for our electrical equations the that said equation should have some voltage and current expressions over here though i can identify that in our given equation one the current part is present but the voltage part is missing over here so we should remodify or recalibrate or rewrite our or reanalyze our given differential equation to come out with our new set of equation that actually give us the right frame of mindset to configure our fi diagram or in the ultimate destination we'll get the fi analogy afterwards but before i go into those steps uh, first i should give you some much needed time to digest up to this one okay the time starts now
in our previous part of our analysis we have just used our fi chart to convert our mechanical rotational parts in terms of our electrical parts and you can see that i have uh, just changed that and what is the uh, procedure to do that just by simply following this chart we do have in our current part i do have the current and in our uh, f part i do have the torque and accordingly i have uh, interchanged all those parts over here for example our torque this is our current uh, at the place of our moment of inertia i have used the capacitor c which you can see over here that d2 d2 of our theta means our phi so i have used that and our uh, k2 at the place of k2 i have used the 1 by l factor so i have used this 1 by l and uh, at the place of a theta 2 and theta 1 i have used phi 2 minus phi 1 you can see that and quite naturally for the last part i do have the f2 the at the place of our f2 i have used the 1 by r so i have used the 1 by r2 ddt of phi 2 minus phi 1 which is equal to 0 and i have uh, done the same procedure i have followed the same procedure for our equation 2 as well you can see that okay now move on towards our next part in our last part i have told you that that uh, these two equations uh, equations are not look like our electrical equation though this equation has the current term over here but the voltage term is missing for the rest of the part of our equation so we should incorporate our voltage part in our given equation okay so how to do that according to the fi chart i do have the relation as theta means our phi okay theta means our phi now if you take the differentiation with respect to time i do have d theta by dt which ultimately give us d phi by dt and d phi by dt means our according to the definition of our electrical circuits i do know that d phi by dt means our e which is the voltage and for our mechanical points of view d theta by dt means our angular velocity which is omega so quite naturally this signifies our first relation over here uh, so this is our first relation for the second relation i do know that if i take this d phi by dt means e now if you utilize this relation d phi means e dt now if you take the integration on both sides i do have integration of e dt so quite ultimately integration of d phi means phi which is nothing but integration of e dt so phi means integration of e dt so these two relations are very very essential now i am going to use these two relation to completely alter our these two differential equation that we have got in our electrical forms okay so let us write down our relations over here i am going to use uh, this space this uh, small space over here omega means our d theta by dt which ultimately give us d phi by dt which is nothing but the e which is the voltage and i should identify this so this is our first relation our second relation should be phi which is e dt integration of e dt so this is our second relation so this is our first relation and this is our second relation and i am going to change our last sort equation from our fi chart okay so what is the changed form we do have the change form should be the first equation is it minus c2 if i consider that d phi by dt means e at the place of this d2 phi 2 divided by dt2 the expression is look like 
d e2 divided by dt minus 1 by l2 inside our bracket i do have phi 2 means phi means integration of e dt so integration of e2 dt minus the phi 1 means u1 dt integration of u1 dt bracket close and for the last part i do have minus 1 by r2 according to the definition i do know that that the d phi by dt means our e so d dt of phi 2 means our e2 e2 similarly d dt of phi 1 means our u1 which is is equal to 0 so this is our first equation now for the second equation i have got c1 d2 phi1 dt2 the same expression c1 d1 divided by dt the same utility 1 by l1 phi1 means our integration of e1 dt according to our these two relation once again i do have 1 by r1 d dt of phi 1 means our e1 voltage divided by resistance that is the current across or current through our resistor okay plus 1 l2 inside our bracket i do have phi 1 means integration of u1 dt and minus phi 2 means integration of e2 dt okay and i am going to take this last part in the under over here so after that plus 1 by r2 d dt of phi 1 d dt of phi 1 means u1 e1 minus d dt of phi 2 means e2 which is equal to 0 so this is our second equation so we no longer do require this differential equation or this upper equation as well and uh, i want to repeat the same procedure over here i have utilized two relation accordingly from our fi chart i have taken theta means phi and if i take the derivative with respect to time with that factor i do have d theta by dt which is d phi by dt d phi by dt means according to the definition the d phi by dt means our voltage which is e d theta by dt means our our angular velocity which is omega so i have written this relation so this is our first relation for the second relation i do have the relation as d phi by dt means e and if i do rearrange those expressions over here i have got phi means integration of e dt so with the help of this these two relation i have totally altered these two uh, expressions that we have got uh, from our fi chart and i have got or i have interchanged these two form of equations in terms of this equation now i can say that that these two equations are look like our electrical equation why because it has the current expression and it has the voltage expression as well and the current through our capacitor is c2 d2 divided by dt and the current through our inductor circuit is 1 by l integration of voltage dt so clearly you can see that the current and voltage expression are retained by me with the help of these two relation and finally i can draw the fi circuit diagram which is the next part for our solution i am go going to give you two minutes to note down after this one and after that uh, i would love to draw the circuit which is the final destination point for our fi analogy no one is doing this type of videos you can feel that so what are you waiting for please do subscribe our channel hit the bell icon for more updates and stay tuned with our channel and you can feel that no one is doing this type of videos over here they are uh, given you just fall promises you know in order to 
say that that they are going to give you or they are going to produce you, you the best form of lessons but uh, they denied all those fundamental rights that is required for any sort of students but i am going to give you this type of explanation or analogies over here and i can guarantee you that after if you do follow our videos from time zero to maximum time you will totally get the picture uh, what you have missed in your previous channels or what you have got in our present classes you will feel the difference in between these two factors okay do do something about that okay the time starts now In our previous step, we have remodified our two given equation. Uh, the after we have utilized the, our FI chart, the equation is look like this one, but still uh, the voltage part is missing inside our given two equation. So we have remoduled our equation in terms of this one and two equation over here with the help of these two relation which is this one and how do i get that i have already told you in our previous part so without wasting any time these two equations are absolutely essential and this is our equation one and this is our equation two and these two 
equations are essential for us. So I am going to erase all these upper portions of our expression as we no longer do require to remember these equations over here as I have already completed the FV analogy for the same problem and FI analogy as well. So this is the this is at the last stage we are at the last stage of our FI analogy. Now all we need we just do require to design our circuit diagram just looking at our equations over here and we should do that uh, in a step by step way. So what should be the FI uh, diagram over here so let us do analyze that okay. I think uh, I have given you the total analysis for our analogy. If you still have any doubts, please let us know in the comment section. We will try our level best to improve your concepts because you can feel that no one is doing this type of videos over here. And I keep on telling you the same thing. If you have missed my videos, you are missing the very important lessons from your subjects because if your concepts are not clear you are not able to understand these subjects in a greater way and i am here try to clear your concepts and of course the doubts okay so we have got these two equations over here this is our first equation and this is our second equation now ultimately we can identify that if you follow the say the two nodes and if I take this is our say this is our node 1 and this is our node 2 and at the node 2 the said voltage is say the voltage is our E2 the voltage is E2 and at the node 1 the voltage is E1 okay now if you do concentrate on our equation 1 we do have the capacitor that is attached with our voltage E2 C2 D E2 divided by DT that is the expression for our current through our capacitor so we should include the capacitor at the voltage E2 so I have included the capacitor C2 so this is completed the next one is our the inductor circuit which is L2 and quite naturally the L2 is placed in between our two voltage elements of E2 and E1. Why? Because we do have the summation or in a total sense the subtraction of these two voltage terms integration of E2 dt and integration of E1 dt. So let us do that. In between these two voltage terms we have got the inductance circuit. So we should include the inductance over here. So I have included the inductance in between our two voltage term of E1 and E2 and this is been termed as our L2. So this is also done. The next one is our another resistor that is placed in between our two voltage element of two voltage elements of E2 and E1 and the resistor that is been placed in between these two voltage terms. So I should include the uh, resistance as well. So this is our resistance and the resistance is our R2 okay so we have got the parallel path in between these two voltage term of E1 and E2 one is the resistor R2 and the another one is our inductor L2 why just by looking at this simple equations or simple differential equation we do have that there is some certain voltage drop or difference of voltage in between these two parameters that is why while including this passive elements in our given circuit we have shown you that that should be placed in between our two voltage elements of E1 and E2 that is why I have included these two elements in between these two voltage or in between the difference of these voltage elements over here so these two elements should be included in between these two voltage points so I have already included this resistor as well so this is the end point over here and I have forgotten to include one thing here the current IT so the current that is making an entry over here and here the current is IT so I have completed the voltage to um, or in terms the voltage at our node 2 is E2 and I have already completed that and I have also completed the common part in between our voltage E1 and E2 over here. So for the next part I have got or for our next equation I have got 
the voltage u1 or what are the elements are connected at our voltage u1 so first i should include the capacitor c1 as it has directly associated or it has directly included at our voltage u1 c1 du1 divided by dt so i can include the capacitor of our c1 over here so this is our c1 c1 du1 divided by dt so that associated voltage should be our u1 that is why the current through our capacitor and i have included the capacitor over here so this one is done and the inductor that is placed as 1 by l1 1 by l1 integration of u1 dt so i should include the inductor so the inductor is our l1 so this is our l1 and i have got the another resistor at the voltage element of our u1 why because what is the current through our resistor voltage divided by our resistance so i should include the resistor over here so this is our resistance and that resistance value is our r1 so i have included the r1 and i have already included the l2 which is been placed in between our two voltage elements of e1 and e2 and i have already included the resistor which is also placed in between our two voltage elements of e1 and e2 so this is our complete circuit diagram for our fi analogy so this is all about our circuit diagram for our fi analogy okay now you can tell me how do i get or how do i reconnect this equation you can take the reverse path so i have got this is our equation and this is our circuit diagram now just by looking at this circuit diagram if you do apply the kcl on our node one you will do get the particular current for each and every path uh, of our uh, all those current elements are there and the summation of that those current elements that is ultimately zero that actually give us ultimately this equation two if you do apply the kcl at node one you will get the you will definitely get the equation two and if you do follow the same procedure just by applying the kcl at our node two you will get the equation one which ultimately give us these two equation so to test the circuit for whether uh, our explanation or whether our calculation is current or whether our evaluations are correct or wrong so you can take uh, the opposite way just by applying our kcl equation at our node 1 and node 2 and you will get the equation of 2 and 1 after that and after that you can conclude that that i have done the right way to get solved this type of given fi analogy so this is all about our FI analogy for our fifth problem. If you still have any doubts, please let us know in the comment section. We will try our level best to improve your concepts and to clarify your doubts. And please do subscribe our channel. If you don't subscribe our channel, please do follow our videos and uh, hit the bell icon for more updates and stay tuned with our channel why because lot of exciting videos are upcoming and you will miss this type of channels while uh, if you don't uh, subscribe our channel okay that's it thank you and goodbye
If you like my video, so what are you waiting for? Please do subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon for more updates, and stay tuned to the channel. Thank you and goodbye.